When talk first emerged of the £22 billion deficit in the Treasury, all eyes began to focus on what the autumn budget might bring for SMEs. After all, the Prime Minister himself has said it's going to be a painful budget with the heaviest burden laid on the broadest shoulders. But with VAT, national insurance contributions from employees and other major taxes effectively ruled out already, where is that money going to come from? Well, for starters, capital gains tax is probably one of the more likely targets for the government. During the 22-23 tax year, only 369,000 people actually paid capital gains tax. Despite that, that brought in £14 billion to the Treasury. So, with so few people affected and so much money brought in, you can expect to see the government either cut allowances or raise the thresholds. While a rise to national insurance contributions by employees has been ruled out, the government has been notably reticent on whether that extends to employers as well. Now, it may be an unpopular move, but a rise of just one penny could see the Treasury rake in £17 billion. Now, that effectively takes care of a large amount of that deficit in one fell swoop, so I'd be surprised if this wasn't part of the budget. Any increase to national minimum wage would be similarly unpopular with business owners right now, but it could tie in with the mantra of the heaviest burden laid on the broadest shoulders. Now, if any employees receive such an increase, they'd be paying more income tax and more national insurance without the government actually having to raise national insurance or income tax rates. That extra money, of course, would be coming from employers, those broader shoulders again. But if we look at the numbers, there's around 1.6 million on or around the national minimum wage, which stands at £11.44 an hour currently. If that were raised to what's being advocated for as a living wage, £12 an hour, it would only yield a relatively measly 0.5 billion pounds. So nowhere near the 22 billion deficit. But could it make an appearance on the budget? We'll have to wait and see. But I think there's better options for them here. As a way of raising funds, the government will almost certainly be looking at measures that can counter tax avoidance and evasion. Now, in their manifesto, they've already mentioned that there'll be £555 million being pumped into HMRC so they can hire more compliance officers to deal with this. There were plenty of mentions of business rates in Labour's manifesto, so it'd be a surprise somewhat if it weren't at least mentioned in the budget. Details are thin on the ground. The only thing we know is that they've said they hope to raise the same amount, but in a fairer way. This could be good news for SMEs, it could be bad news for larger corporations. We don't know at the moment, but if they're only hoping to make the same amount of money, it may not be one of their main focuses at the moment. There have been whispers of a change in dividend tax rates, uh, with them even being raised, or the free allowance being lowered. So if you're a business owner that pays themselves with dividends rather than the less tax efficient options of salary or bonuses, this may be something to look at before the budget. Now, lastly, it has been speculated that Labour may look to drive up fuel duty in an effort to drum up around two billion pounds for the Treasury coffers. Now, harking back to the uh, heaviest burden, broadest shoulders mantra, this would have an effect on everyone, including most normal working people. So I would say this is one of the less likely routes the government may take.